Hey there, sawmillers. Um, some of you may remember that I had a bit of a trouble trying to get the engine mounted far enough forward on the mill, um, so I had to resort to using this double pulley um, instead of the single one which I'd originally intended to use. Um, anyway, having run that for a while, I decided to bite the bullet and invest in uh, a centrifugal clutch. Um, got this one off eBay, it wasn't too expensive. But um, because this is a, an A-type pulley, um, I think that's the only one available, um, I needed a B-type pulley. So what I did, I, I got uh, my old single B pulley again, uh, machined a bit of a, uh, a surface on the back, a little bit of a, a step, to mount it uh, onto this other pulley. Um, just machined the two to match and drilled and tapped them so that now I can um, have a similar setup um, but the, the this thing will now be mounted um, on the shaft a bit better and hopefully um, we've got a centrifugal clutch now instead of a belt tensioning idea. The belt tensioning um, with the idler wheel does work but um, it sometimes does have a tendency to uh, let the blade hop off if the tension isn't quite right. I think the uh, idler pulley idea is probably the only weak spot on the mill. Um, because the blade runs on the outside of the belt, uh, it doesn't take too kindly to being slackened off to, you know, to engage the drive and uh, let it off again. Um, it can sometimes ride up and the throw the blade off so that's why I've really gone for this um, centrifugal clutch and we'll see what happens when we fit it all back together I've just got to machine a few spaces up now on the lathe and uh, take it from there